Hey, in this yoga practice, we're going to focus on breathing in hip openers. So you'll be guided through a series of yoga postures with a little bit more cues and focus on watching the breath. I'm Irene, a yoga and mindfulness teacher. And if you're interested in different yoga, mindfulness, and breathing practices, be sure that you subscribe to the Antara Yoga channel uh, to make sure that you hear about the new videos. We're gonna begin for today lying on the back. You can bring the soles of the feet together, letting the knees open wide apart. Hands can just be resting on your inner thighs. In this lying uh, Baddha Konasana. And once you're set up in the pose, you can gently close the eyes and just allow the weight of your body to be nice and heavy. So you might start to notice which areas of the body are directly connected to the ground, allowing the body to drop. And once you're really comfortable, starting to focus slowly on your breathing. So you can begin by observing your natural breath. Maybe feeling the belly expanding as you breathe in. And noticing the belly dropping as you breathe out. You might be feeling the breath moving up towards the top of the chest, towards your armpits. Really finding that full and steady rhythm to your breath. As we stay here, another five rounds of breath. So perhaps just particularly playing with the exhale. So exhale typically has that quality of releasing. And that can be quite helpful when we're working on opening the hips to allow with every exhale, the weight of the hips to drop down and release. Staying here, one more breath. And then gradually bringing hands to the outside of the knees, you can draw the knees in towards each other, hugging the knees into your chest. And from here, rolling over onto one side. And finding your way back up to a seated position. So you can find your way up to a standing position. We'll do a couple of rounds of sun salutations focused on the, the hips and the breath. So using the inhale to reach the arms high as you look up, exhale slowly folding forward, maybe bending the knees. Inhale, lengthening the chest halfway up. Exhale, left foot steps back, left knee drops. And on the inhale, reaching up through the arms. Exhaling, hands come down. Coming from here to your hands and knees and lowering all the way down to the belly. Inhaling, reaching the chest forward for your cobra. And exhaling, pressing back to child's pose. Staying in child's pose for one breath. Nice, steady breathing. And then coming back through the hands and knees and lifting the hips up for your downward dog. Staying in the downward dog one breath. Now the left foot steps forward as you breathe in. Right knee lowers. Inhaling, reaching the arms nice and high and exhaling, lowering hands back down. 
Inhale, right foot steps forward as you lengthen through the chest. Exhaling, folding forward over the legs. Inhale, come up to standing, reach the arms nice and high. And exhaling, lowering the hands back down. Inhale again, arms come high, look up. Exhale, folding forward over the legs. Inhale, lengthening halfway up. Exhale, right foot steps back, lower right knee. And on the inhale, reach up through the arms. Exhaling, hands come down. Coming back to the hands and knees. And then lowering down on the exhale to your belly. Inhaling, lifting the chest, cobra. And exhaling back to child's pose. Again, staying here one breath in and out through the nose. And then inhaling, coming through your hands and knees. Hips lift up, one breath, downward dog. Inhale, now step that right foot forward, left knee lowers. And reaching the arms high, exhale, lower the hands back down. Now left foot steps forward as you open the chest on your inhale, exhaling, folding forward over the legs. Reaching the arms up as you look up, breathing in, and exhale, lowering the hands back down. Just pause, taking a couple of slow and steady breaths, so feet either together or slightly apart. And bringing the awareness back to your breath again. And slowly open the eyes again. We'll do a few standing poses. So right foot can be forward. You can take a big step back uh, with your left foot. Hands could be on the hips, belly facing the long side of the mat. Now bending through your right knee, we're coming to a warrior two pose, reaching the arms nice and wide. Um, head now just starts to turn to the right. And taking the breath slowly through the nose as you allow the hips to sink and drop down. Using when you're ready the next inhale to turn the right palm up, exhale starting to reverse the warrior. Now we'll come back and forth a couple of times. So inhaling to your warrior two, exhale, reverse warrior. So if you can keep the hips where they are, inhaling and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhaling again and exhale, pausing here in that reverse warrior. So allowing left hip to kind of spin open to the left, right hip out uh, to the right. And then slowly from here, you can come back through your warrior to lengthen the legs and pivot the feet to the opposite side. So now left foot is spinning out um, to the front, right foot is out to the side. You can bend through that left knee and reach the arms out for your warrior two pose. Allowing as best as you can your right hip to kind of drop down, gaze looking to that left arm. Nice slow breath through the nose. And then we'll flow a little bit in and out. So pausing here in your warrior two, turning your left palm up, and then on the exhale coming to your reverse warrior and inhaling back warrior two. Exhale to reverse and coming back warrior two. And just doing this a few times. So again, if you can keep your hips, your legs static. That movement is coming mostly from the arms. A little bit of the upper body moving here. 
Seeing if you can allow that movement to link again to the breath. Next time that you reach the left arm up, pausing here, so you're not just leaning back. There's also this feeling of kind of lifting and lengthening upwards. Left knee coming forward slightly to the left. And then coming all the way back through your warrior two, lengthen that left leg. Feet spin out to the side. And once more, right foot spins out. And from here, we're gonna come to our triangle pose. So again, belly facing forward, legs in the same position, arms come wide. Exhaling this time, right arm down, left arm reaching up to the ceiling. You might also just for a moment kind of have the hands on the hips, noticing what happens if you kind of spin the hips forward or back, allowing the hips to pretty much stay in the middle. You can gaze if you like up to that left arm and then inhaling, bringing the upper body back up, uh, legs stay where they are. Exhale, coming to your reverse triangle. Inhaling through the center. Exhale, triangle. Inhaling center. And exhale, reverse. You can come again back and forth a few times. Start to make that movement a little bit more fluid. And really trying to find that stability in the legs. Move back and forth one more time. And the next time you come to that reverse triangle, you can pause here, maybe allowing the hips to come slightly forward rather than dropping right back. And then coming all the way back through the center, pivoting the feet the opposite way and coming to the left side. So adjusting the feet as you need. You can reach the arms first wide out to the side and then slowly coming down into your triangle pose. So left arm could be resting somewhere on that left leg. Gazing, if you like, up to that right arm. And then using that next inhale to come through the center. Exhale, reverse triangle. Inhaling through the center. And then alternating a few times back and forth again with your breath. So trying to maintain that nice rhythm with the breath and maybe see if you can lead the movement uh, with your breath rather than the breath following the movement. Yeah. That's what can be pretty nice when you're flowing in and out of poses that you can really try to coordinate that movement with the breath. Again, legs are active. Feet are heavy here. And then the next time you come into that reverse triangle, you can pause here. Again, maybe try to send the hips a little towards that left side. You see, lengthen through the spine, maybe look up. And then coming back through the middle, turning the feet. And from here, you can just step back to the front of the mat. So we'll use a sun salutation now to come to sitting. So using the inhale to reach the arms high, looking up. Exhaling, folding forward over the legs. Inhale, lengthening the chest halfway up. Exhaling from here, we'll step back to a plank pose. Lowering down on the exhale to your belly. Inhaling to that cobra pose, exhaling, coming to a child's pose. Staying one breath in your child's pose. 
and then coming back through the hands and knees. One breath in downward dog. And then from here, you can step to sitting. So right foot kind of steps towards the left hand, left foot steps to the right. And then you can come to sit down and reach the legs out in front. So coming to Gomukhasana, cow face pose. So you can cross your right foot over the left, walking as it feels comfortable, right foot out towards that left hip. So roughly kind of knees are um, on top of each other. This doesn't feel comfortable. You can have the knee a little higher, keeping that left leg um, out in front. But if you're pretty comfortable here in the hips, you could also cross that left foot under, so left heel coming towards the underneath of your right hip. Right foot as best as you can, drawing back to the left hip. So legs are kind of crossed here. From here, you can use the inhale to reach up through the arms. Exhaling, hands come in front. Now we're keeping the back of the hips heavy as we lean a little forward with the upper body. So you want to feel the, the hips kind of grounding and start to bring the awareness back to your breath. So nice, slow and steady breath. Seeing particularly on the exhale, if you can find that heaviness and grounding in the hips. You might want to start to count the breath, so slowing the inhale down to a count of three or four. And then slowing the exhale down to a count of three or four. So we stay the last couple of breaths. You could either, if it's comfortable, walk the hands more forward, or you could choose to come a little bit more upright if you're feeling a bit more tension in the hips. Slowly, using that inhale to come all the way back up, uncrossing the legs. And then we'll change sides. So left leg crosses over the right. You can again stay here. Maybe that knee is a little higher. So then you just keep that right leg extended. Otherwise cross also the right leg under. So right heel comes to that left hip. Using the inhale to reach the arms high. Lengthen. And exhaling hands coming in front. Leaning a little forward but sinking back through the hips. You notice that top foot is kind of sliding away. Um, you can just keep it there or you could see, does it feel okay to kind of cross that ankle a little more back? So probably it will just spin back again, <laughs> but it's always just useful to, to play with that and experiment. So soft gaze, looking down to focus uh, your mind. And once more coming back to that inhale and equal exhale. Inhale, two, three, and exhale, two, three. Last couple of breaths, you could fold further forward or come slightly out of the pose. Continuing to count the pace of your breath. And particularly exploring that heaviness and relaxation in the exhale. Staying one more breath. 
And then slowly on the inhale, coming back up again. And exhale, releasing the legs. So you can cross the legs coming over onto the hands and knees. And from here, we're gonna to come to a pigeon pose. So right knee wants to come towards your right wrist. And if it's comfortable, you can just extend the left leg out in front, coming straight into that pigeon pose. If this doesn't feel comfortable for the, for the hips or you're kind of finding that you're um, a little bit um, dis-centered, you could draw the weight more into the right hip and bend through the left leg. So you're kind of coming into that um, S shape with more weight into the right hip than in the left leg, staying upright. The other thing you can kind of play with is putting something under the hip. So you could lift and place a cushion or some sort of towel under that right hip. And if you are in that uh, full pigeon, you can choose to stay upright or you can fold a little forward. Whichever option you choose, see if you can still stay connected to your breathing. And again, trying to relax and let go with your exhale. We'll stay here three more breaths. And then at the end of the next exhale, if you were folded a bit forward, you can slowly come back up, transitioning back through the hands and knees and then coming to the left side. So left knee coming towards your left wrist. You can again play with seeing how it feels to reach that right leg all the way back behind you. Other option could be having the back knee also bent. So you're kind of making that S shape. The weight is more over to the left hip. Still really nice way to work on opening that outer hip, uh, but if you're comfortable, you can keep the leg behind you. Again, if you need support this time under the left hip, gaze looking softly down. If you like leaning that little bit more forward as you gaze down. Noticing where your mind is. See if you can bring the attention towards your breathing. And staying here, three more breaths. Releasing any tension from your face, softening your jaw, staying one more breath, and then slowly finding your way back out towards your hands and knees. Just rock the hips a little from side to side. And then coming to lie down on the back. And we'll come back to where we started. So lying with the feet together, knees apart. Hands can just again rest on the inner thighs and softly closing your eyes. Now, if this position does feel pretty intense, you can always either place sort of cushions under the knees that can really relieve some tension around the hip area, or you could simply bring the feet slightly further away from the hips. So that can also change a little bit the positioning of the, the hip. And 
And then we start to refocus on the breath. And really seeing now if you can allow the breath to lengthen even more. So if you were breathing in through the practice for a count of three or four, playing a little bit if you can extend your breath maybe now to a count of five or six. Coming to the longest, deepest breaths of your day so far. Allowing the air to pass nice and slow through the nose. And we'll stay here another 10 breaths. But allowing the inhale to move nice and slow and then fully releasing on your exhale. Staying here, three more breaths. And then at the end of the next exhale, you can just slowly bring hands to the outside of the knees, draw the knees in, towards your chest, maybe rocking a little from side to side. And then you can slowly, your own temple roll to one side. And from here, finding your way back to a seated position. So I hope you enjoyed the practice. Look out for uh, the series that I've got going on around uh, breathing and different type of yoga postures. And I'll see you soon. <laughs>